Good morning. As you'll remember, our value this half term is fairness. And our focus this week is everybody has the chance to achieve. So everybody has something called potential and potential is where we can get to. It's an achievement or level that we're not at yet, but that we can get to with the right support and effort. So to use the example of our class names, an acorn has the potential to grow into a big, beautiful oak tree. But to do that, it has to have the right conditions. It needs water, sun and soil. So the potential under the right conditions and with the right um, support or the right um, things that it needs, an, an acorn can, has the potential to become an oak tree. These two things, a candle and a torch, both have the potential to give out light, but they need different things to do that. So the candle needs a match or a flame and the torch needs batteries. And with the right support, both of these things can reach their potential. So that's a little bit like us, like people. If you remember, I showed you this picture in last week's assembly, which was about the fact that everybody is different. And because everybody's different, we all need different, we all have different strengths we all have different potential and to get to our potential, we need different help. So I'm going to tell you about a lady called Helen Keller and she had a lot of difficulty early on in her life and it made things really hard for her, but nevertheless, she ended up with the right support that enabled her to, to achieve a lot. She achieved loads in her life. So this is Helen Keller. Helen Keller was born on the 27th of June, 1880 in America. In 1882, she became ill and very nearly died. And after this, she could not see or hear and she had difficulty speaking. Before her illness, she was lively, healthy and friendly. Without being able to see or hear, she felt isolated and she was angry and aggressive. But Helen didn't give up easily. She explored the world using her other senses. She touched and smelled everything. She, she felt people's hands to see what they were doing. She recognised people by feeling their faces. By the age of seven, Helen had invented 60 different signs to communicate with family. She was intelligent and sensitive and she tried to make some sense of a confusing world but it was very difficult. She wanted to talk, but she couldn't make herself understood. And this made her angry and frustrated. As she grew older, her anger and frustrations became worse. She became wild and unruly. When she was seven, the family hired a private tutor, Anne Sullivan, a woman who had been blind since the age of five. She had attended a school for the blind and had, had displayed similar behaviour to Helen's, but after several operations, her sight had been restored. It was difficult at first, but Anne taught Helen to communicate by using sign language. She spelled every word on her hands and this helped Helen a lot. And as Helen became less angry and aggressive, she learned to read and write in Braille. And Braille's a a special um, type of writing which is made out of marks um, that you feel rather than see. She learned to lip read and to speak. And with Anne's support, Helen went on to study and graduated from college in 1904. And there's a picture of her at her graduation. Helen realised that unfairness in the world meant that people were not treated equally. She campaigned for equal rights for women and better pay for working class people. She travelled around the world teaching others and eventually she became famous and she is remembered today for all her achievements. So Helen Keller is somebody who had a difficult start in life. She was 
um, very ill and that meant, like, meant, meant that she lost her hearing, she lost her sight and it was really difficult for her to communicate. And for quite a few years she really struggled but once she got the right support then she was able to make better progress and reach her full potential. And as you can see, she had lots and lots of achievements in her life. So with support, we can all achieve. So things to think about is, have a goal. What do you want to achieve? Really work towards it and keep trying, even if sometimes it's difficult or sometimes you get fed up or you get things wrong, just keep trying. And also it's important to accept help. Sometimes somebody else's idea or somebody else's guidance can make a big difference. And I've shown you this picture before um, and it's just a reminder that some people need different help from others to make things fair. And because I've shown you that picture, here's another one that's similar. Well, it gives a similar message anyway. So if you look at the top row, um, you'll see that all the four people have been given exactly the same bike, which would be equal. However, it isn't fair because obviously the bike's not suitable for everybody. For the lady in the wheelchair, she couldn't possibly ride it. For the child, it's too big. And for the, for the man, it's far too small. So if you look at the bottom row, the bottom, the bottom um, line, they all have different bikes, which are more um, modified and more suitable for the for the person that's using them and that means that they are all able to ride the bikes and that makes them in reality that makes them more equal so remember that everybody has different potential everybody has different strengths and different things that they can um, achieve and everybody needs different types of help but everybody has the chance to achieve.